people of Cebu. Hear me. I am Raha Humaban, your humble king, entrusted with the duty of leading our people and safeguarding our land. It is with a heavy heart that I stand before you today, burdened by the weight of my decisions and the consequences that they may bring. When the Spaniards arrived on our shores, their foreign presence filled me with curiosity and hope. They brought with them new knowledge, advanced technology, and promises of prosperity. Their friendly demeanor and diplomatic gestures convinced me that they were here as allies, as partners in progress. But now, as I reflect upon our interactions, doubts begin to cloud my mind. Have I been naive in my trust? Have I allowed the allure of progress to blind me to the true intentions of these strangers? The answer may be painful, but it is one that I must confront. I see now the subtle manipulations, the hidden agendas that have shaped our relationship with the Spaniards. They have slowly woven a web of influence, entangling our people in their plans of conquest. I fear that I, in my desire for progress and prosperity, have unwittingly become a pawn in their grand game. My friendly interactions with these foreigners have come at a price. The customs and traditions that have defined our people for generations are being eroded, replaced by foreign practices and beliefs. Our autonomy and independence hang by a thread as the Spaniards tighten their grip on our land, our resources, and our very identity. It is a bitter realization that my desire for progress and friendship may have led to the erosion of our sovereignty. The consequences of my naivety are felt by our people, who find themselves caught between the promises of the Spaniards and the erosion of our cultural heritage. But let it be known that I stand here today, humbled but not defeated. I acknowledge my misjudgments, my naivety in the face of foreign influence. Yet, I refuse to let despair consume me. There is still hope, still a chance to reclaim our sovereignty and preserve our culture. We must be vigilant, my fellow Cebuanos, and guard against further encroachment. We must reclaim our voice, our agency in shaping our own destiny. Let us not be swayed by empty promises and false friendship. Our heritage, our traditions, and the well-being of our people depend on our discernment and strength. Together, we shall rise above our past mistakes, learning from them and forging a path towards a future that is true to our identity. Let us stand united, reclaiming our sovereignty, and protecting what is rightfully ours. The Spaniards may have underestimated our resilience, but we will prove to them that the spirit of Cebu cannot be tamed. May the lessons learned from our history guide us, may the unity of our people empower us, and may our commitment to our culture and heritage fuel our determination. We will chart our own course, one that honors our past while embracing a future that is distinctly Cebuano. As Raha Humaban, I pledge to you, my people, to be a wiser leader, to safeguard our interests, and to ensure that the spirit of Cebu remains strong. Together, we will navigate the currents of uncertainty, reclaim our sovereignty, and forge a future that is guided by our own dreams and aspirations.